Now let's talk about this week's episode of Kuru Kuru Basket, which was one of the best. At the, at the at the near end of the episode, I thought like, holy shit, they're gonna win, and the coach is gonna let Kizzy on a bench, but then Kizzy gets up, but then I thought, what can he do? There's only four minutes for the game to end, and he only has two minutes of perfect copy, and Kagami's team has like 15 points ahead of them, there's no way he could win, but I know, it's an anime, I, I, I thought like, logically, there was no way they could win, but since it's an anime, there's a big chance they might lose. Of course, they're not gonna lose because everybody knows <laughs> they're gonna win. But it just is a little mind-breaking if you think about it. But apparently, it's gonna stretch those two minutes of perfect copy into four minutes. But the, the but the icing on the cake wasn't even that. The icing on the cake was the fact that Kize copied Kurukus. Abilities. Everybody thought he could, like, it's not that he could copy Aomine and Akashi, Emperor, I think. I think I said it right. He could obviously copy Kuruku, but I wasn't expecting him to use because Kuruku's abilities are more like in the shadows things, and the passing needs people not noticing you. And there's one thing easy is, is everybody notice him. It's not like you can't do that like Kuruku does. And then, holy shit, that was awesome. If you like my videos, comment and subscribe the link below. And as always, I'm gonna leave in a link. I'm gonna leave in the description below the link to my friend's channel about the videos and the little challenges. My name is Mike. See ya.